Jiren is one of my personal favorite characters from Dragon Ball Super. He has many nicknames. They call him the strongest warrior in the universe. They call him the GOAT. They call him Superman in disguise. The big-headed enemy from Elden Ring. And my personal favorite, Goku's Kryptonite. He was the undisputed king when it came to putting the hood on his back and he displayed that in the Tournament of Power. Jiren was being hyped up to the fullest before the tournament even started. Topo dog walked this man Goku in the manga and said, if you can't beat me, I know you can't beat Jiren. The way Universe 11 was being displayed before the tournament, you would have thought that this was their show and not Universe 7's. They got their own Justice League, they was all up in the opening fighting Goku, like it was clear as day that Jiren was the top dog of this arc. Like they couldn't have had Goku fighting Ririan or any other character that nobody likes in the intro. They put that man right up on front street. Jiren's the only character in Dragon Ball Super that had a hype man and the hype actually paid off. Bro was just chilling on some random planet meditating and listening to NBA Youngboy when Topo asked him to join the fight because he knew that they weren't going to win without him. First time Mans pulled up with the squad, he had everybody on notice right from the jump. Goku walked up to him trying to be buddy buddy with him and Jiren was having none of that and told him to get lost. Goku turned around so fast like he'd been in cell block 1 before. Bro teleported behind Goku so fast that if that was somebody else besides Jiren, Goku would have got his cheeks clapped on a cosmic level. Jiren was thinking in his head, let me flex on him one more time and didn't even flinch when the blocks flew by his head. Mans didn't even throw a punch yet and he's already proven to be a problem. Soon as the tournament started, everybody was popping off except for Jiren. He was just standing still like that random shadow you see at 12 in the morning. One fighter actually tried to be the first victim of Jiren's highlight reel. Jiren looked at him once and he was like, No! But luckily, Kale decided she wanted to be the first victim of the highlight reel. After Kale goes on a rampage because she thought Khalifa was trying to let Goku hit it raw, Jiren got tired of hearing her scream and let Kale know that she's a minor and Goku's an old ass man. Calm the F down. Your friend's name is Khalifa, not Mia Khalifa, so chill out, bro. Jiren did her so dirty that he hit her with a pose that you see someone do in the Storm games after they use their ultimate jutsu. Goku pulls up wanting to smoke once again and Jiren's got the, why is this nigga bothering me look? Topo stops the fight from happening and tells Jiren, let's go chill in the back and reserve our strength. And Jiren's like, no, you need to reserve your strength. I'm built different. Somebody from Universe 3 was bold enough to try and attack Jiren, but Jiren was like, I know this nigga not trying to see me. Maji must be a One Piece fan because this nigga went gear third and thought he was about to rock Jiren's sh that Gomu Gomu no pistol. But Jiren's a One Punch fan, so he sent his ass flying with a shockwave punch, turning him into Jello. The shockwave was so vicious that it had Goku shaking. After Rebrian tried throwing it back on Jiren, Universe 11's version of Joker hits up Jiren and tells him that it's time to catch a body and Goku's target number one. Jiren got to stepping in his Air Force Ones and had everybody shook. Aura was so powerful that even the void was shaking. Jiren's presence was so strong that Topo couldn't stop glazing him up. This nigga was gassing up Jiren so much that the Supreme Kai was in the stands looking impressed. Jiren released his spiritual pressure and everybody damn near fainted. Goku was sweating so much and all Jiren was doing was standing there. Goku wasted no time and hit him with a Kamehameha, but Jiren was like, bro, I saw the footage. Kale moonwalked through this move. Don't make me start dancing on it as well. Goku was giving it his all and Krillin was in the stands sucking up Goku even better than Chi Chi does. Mans was watching Goku give the very best and nothing was happening. Goku had Krillin in the stands looking like the Sons and Four guy. Goku powers up the blue and Jiren just has a nonchalant look on his face, looking like that one Stephen A picture. Jiren beat the brakes off of Goku, had him screaming in ways I've never heard him scream before. Jiren disrespected this man so bad that he lifted him up by his hair, and Vegeta was looking in the background like, hey that's my move. You'd think that Goku would have learned his lesson, but he's a clown so that's never gonna, so he's never gonna change. Goku goes charging at him and Jiren activates his showering gun and hits him with an order order combo. Everybody saw this happen and placed all their bets on Jiren. But Krillin's like, nah, my boy still got Ka Kaioken in his back pocket. It's GG for this nigga. 
Bro, you mean to tell me that you've been glazing up Goku so much that you didn't even see him go Kaioken five seconds ago? Like, I get that he's your best friend, but even you gotta realize what happened to your boy. Goku realizes that, damn, this nigga built different and charges up a spirit bomb. Now, normally, when a spirit bomb is being powered up, somebody gotta take a beat down or some other activity had to happen in order for it to reach its full potential. But Jiren was like, nah, I'll wait. Go ahead and charge it up to the max. Goku was like, wait, what? This isn't part of the script. If I would've heard that, I'd have let Jiren get the dub and switch sides immediately. Goku launches the spirit bomb and Universe 7 wins the tournament. Which is what Goku thought happened because this man Jiren pushes the spirit bomb with ease. As a matter of fact, he did it with no hands, looking like Roscoe Dash. Jiren was like, I watched the Boo Saga before the tournament, buddy, so I know how this goes. Jiren was making Goku look so bad in front of the gods that Whis was like, oh, this is the one that I've been hearing about that's supposedly stronger than a god of destruction. Goku gets turned into a pack and everybody was ready to end it all right there. I'm like, bro, you still got Vegeta in there. Chill out. <laughs> Goku rises from the ashes and unlocks Ultra Instinct. But Jiren was like, boy, I thought you was him for a second. Now get out my face. But I know deep down inside, after that knee gut he got, he was like, Shit, that nigga had me scared, but I held my own. Fuck that. So Hit decides to try his luck against Jiren, and this is where things start to get nasty. Jiren was like, boy, what you want? And Hit says, I'm working. This nigga thought he was John Wick for a second when he said that line. Hit took one punt from Jiren and was like, damn. These the blows that Goku was taking? I'm already seeing double vision. Jiren was doing hits so bad that he was starting to look like the Universe 6 version of Vegeta, which is saying something. The same moves that were putting Goku and Vegeta in a blender were just literally a warm up exercise for Jiren. After getting mollywhopped for so long, Hit finally gets Jiren in a position that could have him win. But lo and behold, something happens. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Jiren overpowers time itself. Jiren was hitting a why oughta walk like Cody Rose does and hit blows a 3-1 lead. Jiren hits him with a mean bar and tells him that an assassin's pride is worth nothing when you're dealing with a goat. I remember hit fans being so delusional about hit being eliminated that they thought hit was not really eliminated and that he had a clone on standby the whole time. Stop it. Get some help. Like, that was too funny back then, and it's still funny now. Like, I'm a Vegeta fan, and you know how we are delusional when it comes to the GOAT. But even we're not that delusional. I'm about to renege on that in a few minutes now. After smoking that hit pack, Jiren tells Dispo and Topo that they can handle the rest because all these niggas trash and aren't worthy of his time. Man stared right at Goku when he said that. Like, he might as well just pointed straight at Goku when he said that line. Jiren starts meditating in the middle of the battlefield because he knows that no one can touch him. That is, until Goku awakens Ultra Instinct five or so episodes later. Jiren stops meditating to watch the fight between Kefla and Goku. Jiren saw that Ultra Instinct Kamehameha and was like, Wouldn't let that shit happen to me though. Now that all the universes are eliminated, the dream matches between Universe 7 and Universe 11 can finally happen. Goku and Jiren walked up to each other and get face to face like it was a WWE match. Goku powers up and I know for a fact that his breath was humming during that scene. Goku just doesn't seem like the Brett Mint type of guy, at least that's from my perspective. Goku and Jiren spar, but my goat had to get his licks in. I remember being so hyped for this episode because I know Vegeta was about to be on his goat-ish and you know how Vegeta is. Jiren tried to do his ultra combo on Vegeta, but Vegeta dodges it with ease and hits him with a gut shot. Had Jiren looking like Thanos when Steve was holding him back in Infinity War. Like, hold up, who gave this man MC energy? So he proceeds to remind Vegeta why he's number two. Jiren must have heard Whis in the background telling the whole crowd that Vegeta might be unlocking Ultra Instinct as well. And he was like, not on my watch and proceeds to deliver a vicious combo. Didn't even let him breathe for a second. He had Goku in the background screaming for his life. Jiren tells him that you fight with arrogance and that's why you're predictable. So Vegeta powers up 
a fully powered final flash like he did against Cell and hit Jiren dead on with it. Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Just like Cell, that means Jiren did this man so dirty that everybody thought he was dead. Jiren was so disrespectful that he told this man night night. Like he just got finished laying the pipe down on him or something. All right, so I'm gonna start this off by saying Jiren is a real nigga and all, but on some dead real shit. Don't you ever even like tell my nigga Vegeta sleep again. Vegeta's eyes were whiter than Mastered Ultra Instinct. Everybody was gassing the f out of that move, bruh. Out of that one specific moment. Even the Omni King was mo mimicking the move, bruh. Like, come on now. The disrespect is real. This is probably Vegeta's Yamcha moment in the Tournament of Power, bruh. You know how disrespectful it gotta be for the Omni King to mock, to imitate Jiren's move, bruh? Like, come on. Like, when everybody else got eliminated, there was no imitations or nothing. But when something happened to Vegeta, everybody gotta blow it up in proportion. Like, I know my goat talks that ish, but that's Vegeta, though. You can't just be going around disrespecting my nigga like that, bruh. After dropping Vegeta, Goku tries to run it back, but this time he's being a little tactical. He hits a destructo disc that causes the spot where Jiren was standing at to collapse, which would spell elimination for any other character. But this is Jiren we're talking about, and that type of BS won't work on him. This pisses him off and he powers up some more. Jiren proceeds to bully Goku and he does something to him that nobody else has ever accomplished. Jiren punches the side of Goku's face and causes him to power down. Like this man went from Super Saiyan Blue to just regular Goku. Like take all of your debates about Jiren somewhere else bruh because this man Goku was legit terrified of this man. Like no matter the results of the tournament. This man was literally terrified of Jiren. Jiren's the only nigga in history to have Goku looking like Eminem in 8 Mile. After this, Goku and Vegeta power up to new heights and proceed to jump Jiren. They had him intrigued for a split second, but he lost entrance real quick. Bro was just blocking all their punches at this point. To stop the jump session, he tells Topo to fight Vegeta. After Vegeta beats Topo, Jiren goes straight into Demon Time. He calls Topo trash and that he'd expected better from him. Like nigga, this is your teammate, your number one meat rider. You can't just go disrespecting him like that. But it was more disrespectful in the dub because he called him a disgrace and that he wasn't surprised by the results. Goku tries defending Topo's honor and Jiren gets this nigga with a roundhouse kick, telling him to know his role. Jiren activates final boss mode and powers up even more, surrounding himself in lava. Jiren had everybody sweating like a sauna, and then Vegeta goes to talking his <laughs> and everybody pays for it. Goku, Vegeta, and Seventeen proceed to jump Jiren and literally doing nothing to him. If you thought he made a 2v1 look easy, this nigga made a 3v1 look damn near impossible. He was laughing at them too, which makes it even more disrespectful. Jiren was so nasty that he hit Goku with the black power pose. Frieza manages to attack Jiren, and Jiren takes it personal. Mans beat him so bad that I thought he beat the racism out of him. But if Topo couldn't do it to Frieza, I know Jiren couldn't do it either. We finally get Jiren's origin, and his wish would be to bring back his family. But Jiren was like, you talking too much, Belmon. Go back to Harley Quinn. He says, I don't trust no Super Dragon Balls. I don't trust anybody. I can practically do what I want already, so why would I want to make a wish? I came here for one thing only, and that's for the smoke. Seventeen quote unquote sacrifices himself, and with everybody down, it's time for my goat Vegeta to make his final stand. Jiren tells him to give up and just fall out of the ring, but Vegeta was like, nah, I gotta show you what time it is. Bro couldn't even power up to Super Saiyan and expect us to believe that he can hold his own against Jiren. Jiren punched this man one time and he already has a black eye. I'm sitting here like, it's okay Vegeta, you can stop fighting, we already know you're him. Just give up already. Like either jump out of the ring or fuse with Goku at this point. But Jiren wasn't having none of that and gives Vegeta the most brutal beating of his life. Now what separates this beating from 18, Frieza, Boo, Cell, and others is that those were more centered around his pride. Well, I mean, the Kid Buu one was a beating, but but most of them were centered around his pride. But with Jiren's beating, this was a physical beating. 
Jiren could unalive this man at full power with just one punch, but he's still holding back. Each punch sounded like he was breaking his bones. His body was looking like a game of Twister. Jiren punched him so hard that he went flying out of the ring. But God must be a Vegeta hater because this man's boot caught a piece of the edge and allowed him to keep getting a beat down. After the final flash failed him again, Jiren hits him one final time and sends Vegeta flying like Debo did Red in Friday. Vegeta gets eliminated and now it's Goku versus Jiren with no interruptions. They fight again and Jiren knocks the blue out of Goku once again and then proceeds to give him the same combo special he gave Vegeta but times 10. Goku being the respectable fighter that he is was like, hold up Jiren, let me give you some more room to work. Okay, now you can get back to this combo. After getting told by Frieza to dance for him, monkey, he unlocks Ultra Instinct for a third time and now the real fight begins. Goku tries that Kamehameha that he did on Kefla and Jiren is like, boy you thought, and gives him a full blown blast to the face. While everybody's gassing up Jiren, Vegeta gasses up Goku and this scares Belmon. This motivates Goku and now they're fighting once again. Fight was looking like a battle in heaven. Lights were so bright that you would have thought a soul of flare times 100 had happened. Jiren tries ending the battle, but Goku keeps getting better and better to the point where he finally lands a blow. This causes Jiren to actually smile, which is a scary sight. This is like seeing Batman smile. Nothing good happens whenever that's the case. Jiren powers up even more and tries to put Goku in a blender. But Goku does the unthinkable and masters Ultra Instinct. Goku had Jiren look like somebody's changed the difficulty setting from Hall of Fame to Rookie. Even had the god standing up like it was a national anthem. After getting embarrassed by Goku, Jiren's PTSD kicks in and he powers up to a new level. Man's powered up so much that he came out the shirt and turned the entire arena into a lava pit. Now imagine if he used all this power right from the jump. Jiren was dog walking, mastered Ultra Instinct, and you can't convince me otherwise. After seeing Goku take that beating, he questions how does he keep getting up, so he decides to go X Games mode and attack the stands. Now despite this happening, I still wanted Universe 11 to win. Goku gets pissed and finally gets serious. Goku hits him with a Kamehameha that honestly should have sent him to the Shadow Realm, but he survives it because you know Jiren's a goat. Goku gets ready to finish him off, no ditty or possibly give Jiren some energy. But unfortunately, his body gives up on him and he collapses. I remember when this episode first came out and everybody thought that Frieza was the one that caused Goku to be in the state that he is. Like that just shows you how evil Frieza is that he's willing to put the universe on the line. Jiren respects Goku and eliminates him, which would have happened if Frieza didn't save him. And 17 is still revealed to be alive. And once again, it's a 3v1 jump session but this time it's more legendary. Jiren in his head is like, oh, this is gonna be a cakewalk now. Frieza gets to talking and Jiren delivers a 10 feet special and 17 damages Jiren. Jiren was ready to admit defeat, but Topo's meat riding skills were at an all time high because this causes Jiren to get a Zenkai boost. Goku returns to help them jump Jiren and Goku and Frieza gives us a high quality jump session. Even have a GD in the stands pissed off because he was like, damn, that should have been me out there, not Frieza. Goku and Frieza eliminate Jiren and thus ending the reign of Jiren the Great. Now what separates Jiren from the rest is that he was a product of hard work. He wasn't born from a powerful race. He wasn't a racist that came out the womb with a power level of 500 million or nothing like that. He just trained until he became the strongest being in the universe and practically became a monster. I hope we see Jiren again, and I hope we see more great stories in the manga now that Toyotaro said that he's gonna continue the story. But with that being said, let me know in the comments how y'all feel about Jiren the GOAT. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.